I'm the peer. I'm the peer. You know, I've been in the since six years. I've um, been in the game a lot longer than I'm, 26 years. Oh, he's been in the game longer than me. <laughs> mm. Um, I'm mentoring him on Downton. We, Is that we, a fact? We look after him. It's a youth training scheme, and he's my little thing to look after. Never touch teach. My face again. <laughs> is this um? Is this your relationship on and off screen? Is this similar? It's yeah. abusive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you see how I shook uncontrollably when he nearly touched me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I like to think of him. I, I, I look after Rob much more than he looks after me. To be fair, like you telling him to stand still. <laughs> I'm like the embarrassing uncle, and it, it, that's me to him. What can we expect from your on-screen characters this year? What's in store for you two? Well, we, uh, when we first, at the beginning of our relationship, obviously, I owe a lot to Thomas. You know, he looked after me with the velvet violin, and when Denka, nasty Denka, was trying to manipulate that's me. Right. Um, but And then it's a kind of like a wariness. Everyone in the house is telling Andy lots of different things about Thomas. So how do I kind of deal with this relationship where, you know, we want to be, like, friends, similar kind of job, age, like, well, actually. But uh, he's gay. But he's gay. Just say it. He's gay and Andy's... Is Andy it. gay or straight? Is that an no, issue? No, no, no. He, 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 that's never divulged. But that, when, he, when he would find that out, it would be a huge fact for someone so young and a daunting fact, because it was massive fact then. It was illegal and against God. And to find that out, it's kind of a horrific thing for him to... So he doesn't yeah. know how to deal with Thomas. But I don't think it comes from a... Um, I was kind of keen this year, not, it's not coming from a home of favourite place. No, I didn't say that, son. No, no, I'm saying it now. didn't say that, darling. I'm saying it now, mate. But he grew it's up, his you know, fear of the unknown is what it is. Fear of the unknown, wariness, um, you know, and not Homophobe. wanting... Homophobe! Not wanting Very to, different times. Wanting to lead yeah. him on in any way, I suppose. Okay. Um, yes, that's good. But that's not, that's not coming from... Your character is it? That's Thomas was really put through the ringer last year. Um, will we see more yes. positive no. time for him? It's no? another big epic because at the start, you know, he's, he's done a lot for Andy, and then gradually sees this this young boy distance himself from him. At the same time that they're cutting back on staff and what's going on with wider society in general, these great houses uh, are fading and. and Basically, it wasn't just losing a job per se in one household. It's an entire industry was being wiped out almost. So it was a case of, well, if I lose my job here, I can't get another job because service is not becoming, it's it's not it's not a future in it anymore. So there's yeah. that fear playing into his background. So he alienates himself from not just Andy because the way he's behaving towards him, he perceives that's how everyone feels about him. And this, it's all about Thomas is so paranoid this year, and, and he goes on that journey where he goes. He separates himself from the house. It's quite tragic. He's been consistently... I mean, he almost seemed to go on a redemptive path a little bit, but he's been consistently himself. Would you like to see him become a more likeable character, or do you want him to stay true to the end? Um, I just... I think what we've seen with Thomas is a lot of false dawn. So you get this guy who's nasty, you find out why he's nasty, it's rooted in sexuality and how society treats him. Um, and then he sort of goes on a path to redemption and he thinks he's a better person, but... What we've realised with these false dawns is that Thomas has never truly been happy with himself. All the stuff with Jimmy after the black market and everything. He's he sort of lived a lie and thinks, I am comfortable with being gay. We find out this series that he's not, um, really is not. I mean, we saw, we saw bits of it last year when he was trying to change his sexuality. And it looked last year that he might have made that turn and tried to level himself out, but he hasn't. So it continues in that vein to the bitter end.